If you bought one of those pre-built gaming desktops from HP or maybe Dell, and if you're wondering how can I expand my system memory without spending way too much money, well, I'm gonna show you how you can do it on the budget today. Hey guys, welcome back to How SS channel. My name is Ivan, and today we're gonna look at how can we upgrade the system memory of the HP TG or Dell XPS or one of the other pre-builds from Lenovo or Dell. So I'm still getting a lot of questions all the time on the channel. What is the easiest, fastest way and cheapest obviously to upgrade the memory on the HP TG01? And I spent some time researching different memory kits, buying different memory kits, returning different memory kits, playing with Ryzen Master, using XMP profiles through that. You know, you guys probably know, no XMP profiles are built into the BIOS, but I wanna narrow it down to the easiest, cheapest possible way to upgrade the memory without spending more money and giving you money to the OEM or fiddling with XMP profiles and Ryzen Master and wasting time and resetting BIOS. I spend a lot of time with these pre-builds to narrow it down and make it easier for you guys so you can just grab a kit and off you go, hassle-free and most of all, cheap. A couple weeks ago, I stumbled upon this memory kits from Clev, company that I've never heard before. Honestly, uh, I saw them on Amazon and they were selling eight gigabytes sticks 3200 MHz GDAC profile for a very cheap price, around $30. And I was like, okay, maybe this one can work. Uh, so I grabbed one just cautiously so I can test it and see if it works. And I'm happy to report that it works with both HPTG and the Dell pre-builds with no problem. So I went ahead and grabbed another one, made two of them, two by eight, and installed them, test them, and they're working with no problem. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can go ahead, upgrade your memory and don't spend hundreds of dollars, just keep it on the budget and still enjoy 3200 MHz uh, GDAC profile at 1.2 volts with your pre builds So let's go ahead and check it out. And of course, at the end, we're gonna talk about it in a conclusion. Now you will see that I already have my XMP installed memory. So in order for you to swap memory sticks, unfortunately with the Big Shuriken 3, you're gonna have to take the whole cooler out, repaste it and do it again, because most of these are too high. And even when you unclip them, they're not gonna be able to get out of the slots without hitting the fan. So I'm gonna have to take my whole uh, cooling solution out, repaste, and then put my uh, GDEC memory right there. But I'm gonna show you the whole process, despite the fact that you've probably seen my previous videos. So let's go ahead and remove the cooler Luckily, the Big Shuriken 3 is being held only by two bolts and it's one of the easiest to install and remove. So do like three, four revolutions on each one of the bolts so the pressure can get equalized. All right, so that's it, fully detached from here. I can lift off gently the whole cooling solution, take it out of the way. We can see we still have a nice paste on the CPU. This is my Ryzen 5 3600. So from here, I'm just gonna take these uh, XMP enabled memory sticks, put them to the side, take this other one too. I'm gonna go ahead and install my Clef GDEC 3200 MHz RAM back in the slots here. Push it down to click and the other module as well. All right, now both in place. I'm gonna clean the CPU off the old uh, paste and install the new one. Now with the cooler dismounted, processor cleaned with my trusty GD900 thermal paste, I'm just gonna put a little dot right in the middle and spread it around with the spatula. Make sure a majority of the CPU is covered. If something is left in the corners a little bit, it's not fatal because the cooler is going to press it down and fill all the gaps. There's always any of the excessive paste. I'm gonna put straight into the cooler. That way nothing goes to waste. And from here, I'm gonna place it back. Make sure you're matching the hose correctly and then lower it down. Don't over tight it. And then manage your cable routing here, which I like to tuck into these rubber corners of the fan. That way it's more nice and tight and neat. Give it a little wiggle, make sure everything is correctly done. And yeah, that's it. Now we have the Clev GDAC memory installed. I'm gonna put everything back together, fire it up, see how it goes, how this memory is performing. But as you remember my previous setup, right here I have my storage for my games the fan controller from Zalman. Easily place it in back into space. Put our graphics card back. 
Make sure to reconnect everything. Don't forget any power cables. And here's my Noctua fan, 92 millimeter, installed on the metal plate. But before we lowering it down, we gotta connect all these cables for a fan controller, for the SATA 3, for the SATA data. And then we're gonna reconnect everything back together. So that's it. Nice and simple, let's see how it performs. So after starting the computer, going to the task manager, immediately we see the memory starts at 3200 megahertz, which is great news. And from here we can go to a CPU-Z and check it out. So CPU-Z tells us that the clev memory uses SK Hynix chips and has both GDEC profile at 3200 megahertz and XMP profile at 32 megahertz. So this memory, actually is versatile it can be used in both gdeck and xmp profiles and one thing again to notice right away both of those are working on 1.2 volts so you can use xmp or you can use gdeck both will be on 1.2 volts so that's an important thing to know because most of the 3200 megahertz xmp profile memories they're going to be running at 1.35 volts obviously with uh, much tighter and lower timings but just a good thing to notice here that you have both options. And I, I'm happy to report that these uh, Clev memory sticks are working right out of the box with those pre-builds. Uh, and I already tested those with some of the Dell pre-built computers as well. And they are working with them as well. So this is a great, great option for those of you guys that have bought one of those uh, pre-built computers and are looking to expand your memory without spending way too much money buying directly from the OEM. You can just go to uh, Amazon and order yourself uh, eight gigabyte or 16 gigabyte or whatever amount of memory you want to buy. This one proves to be working with uh, everything else. And there are not that many manufacturers out there still making a GDEC 3200 megahertz uh, profile memories. So yeah, that's the winner. Uh, let's go back to the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And what do I think about this memory from Clef? I'm very impressed. There are less and less companies today producing GDEC profile memory and obviously we need that sometimes we just want to avoid any kind of problems or going through the long route of rebooting resetting bias trust me I spent hours upon hours to test different kind of memory kits on all the pre-builds and kind of tailor down XMP profiles to the Ryzen master and other software and it's it's not easy I mean especially for people that are not too proficient in computers or they just want to buy a computer and play games and don't bother with anything else. This is a very easy solution. Just grab yourself two by eight uh, from Clev or any other company to be to be honest. If you find other GDEC profile memory, sure, go ahead and grab it. Uh, but I am happy with this one. It's very inexpensive at Amazon. Get yourself two by eight sticks or two by 16 sticks and put it on your pre-builds and no other settings you need to touch. There'll be no uh fiddling around with the bios or anything like this the system memory will run automatically at 3200 megahertz gdec profile 1.2 volts and you're not gonna have any problems so this is my advice for you guys if you want a cheap easy and fast upgrade that you can get and expand your system memory without giving hundreds of dollars to hp uh, lenovo or dell this is a very easy solution that's pretty much it guys in the next couple of videos i will be upgrading the system memory of the lenovo legion 5 pro with some very nice memory that i again found by pure chance uh, browsing around the internet but yeah that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the links in the description below if you want to support the channel directly so it can bring you more and more videos like this and until next time guys you have a wonderful day